Hello there, hello there. Yep, it's that time of the year again. Your boy has summoned a new LD Nut 5. And I just want to say, like, this unit is so much fun. Yeah, and we get some attack bar, and I'm curious about the duo of honor. He's going for that. Oh. And she gets the stun, and she gets the stun, and she gets another Dude. It might not be, like, the actual best unit in the game right now, but just the kit, and combining that with the fact that it's just got released, which makes it that like pretty much nobody knows how to fight against it is like one of the best combinations and probably one of the most amount of fun I've ever had in Summoner's War. I really wish that all of you guys get like a new LD Nut 5 when they just got released. But without further ado, let's talk about his abilities. We got his first skill, Continuous Slash, which hits twice and puts on armor break. And that's actually a massive deal because his third skill has a really cool mechanic that is pretty much brand new. It challenges your opponent to a 1v1. So you get to kind of choose which one you want to attack. And then you're going to just use your first skill three times in a row. And it completely gets rid of passives. It completely gets rid of all of your opponents, like other monsters. So let's say the guy has a Vanessa on the field, for instance. You're just going to hit through that. Let's say you're fighting a Julian. There's no more allies alive, so you're just going to one-shot him. Let's say you're fighting a Burkhild. She's not going to be obnoxious. There's just so many things you can do that just completely neglect a lot of the things that are good right now. That doesn't change the fact that I think he's still somewhat underwhelming. Mostly because of this. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of retarded. Pretty much every single balance patch, they have to like have three lines in there where it's like changing resistance awakenings into something else and then giving like support resistance awakenings. I don't know why they still do it for like regular damage dealing monsters, but somehow that's still in the game. All right, nice. We get to provokes and we're just gonna start. Let's go for the duel. I don't think Sierra is gonna do too much. We'll see. Gets a bunch of attack bar and that's a dead Sierra right here. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Alrighty. So we're gonna go for... I think I'm just gonna... Maybe we do some attack bar here. We're gonna hit this boy. It's gonna be nice. Oh! Disgusting! Alright. I'm gonna go for the Athena here. I think she's the most squishy. And probably not on violent, judging from how freaking fast she was. Uh, let me just buff myself I guess oh I should have second skill I should have 100% second skill why did I not second skill here I think that just lost me the match didn't it because now he has a second um, I think he's extremely stat intensive it's very hard to ruin him to be honest I mean he technically does have a decent amount of attack but there's a frick ton of counters to him and you do want to have like a very thick bruiserish set and then maybe even have like a decent amount of accuracy because what ends up happening when you go for the duel is you cleanse yourself and your opponent. So you can't really like put on armor break beforehand or stuff like that. And that's kind of a bummer because you really have to rely on like getting your first hit armor break on your own ability. Ah, oh, it's going to be one of those hey gang team comes and we're going to have a good time and we're just going to drop my boy Drakkar. He has no chill. All right, we're going to go for four anti plus Drakkar. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be oh against Tessarian. This is gonna be nice. I can see this being good against Tessarian, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna pick the Veramos. And I think we just wanna get rid of his like massive bursts. Even though like the control is gonna be annoying as well. I think I have enough to like really deal with what he what what he has bringing to the table. Alright. So is this gonna land? Missing everyone except Drakkar. I take that. Oh, he's going for my Juno. I, I, that's very impressive. I mean, I know that he's trying to... Oh, dude, I wish my Juno... Second hit armor break. And please, can we... Oh, no. Now he gets to spread it. That's not good. Oh, okay. I take that. I actually definitely take that. We're gonna try and provoke. Didn't get that. That's pretty bad. It's fairly bad, yeah. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go for the Tessarin right away. I'm just gonna... I want to see how much the Duo of Honor is gonna do against it. Because he's kind of not doing anything without his passive, right? Boom. Dude. 
<laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure you didn't expect that one. Um, and we're gonna just... I'm gonna break the turmoil while we're at it. And yeah, maybe not getting that. Uh, that defend is gonna be kind of a pain, but I think we should be okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know, I'm basically just drafting like Hey Gang plus my triple obnoxious team comp. And somehow it's still working. But you can't argue that Drakkar ignoring passives is like, it's it's actually kind of underrated. Like, unironically. I think, I think it does have a place in the meta right now. And it's really cool. Really cool, Kanye. Alright. Oh, beautiful interaction. We're just gonna stun some more. Oh, I'm already really enjoying this. Like, this is by far my favorite LD that I've pulled so far. Yeah, he's just confused. And this is a very weird team comp, but I think it does make sense. But it's more because he's drafting, like, B-tier units. We're just gonna get rid of the Monkey King. And now he doesn't really have many good units. Like, it's, it's gonna be very interesting. Definitely moving first. And who's he focusing on? I think he has to go for my... Goes for my Ragdoll. Boy is scared. <laughs> okay, I take it. So he's kind of—he doesn't have strips. That's a good thing. Why would you, dude? Why would you do that? Why? Why would you go for my geo here? That's not smart. <laughs> okay, bro. So we're gonna go for. You know what? We're gonna go for the beast rider, and I'm gonna show you guys the first effect that his third skill has on people because it gets rid of passives totally. Which means I get to actually just one-shot Beast Riders. So, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go for a reset on my boy Desert Warrior over here. And, you know what? I actually don't really... Nah, I'm gonna go for the speed buff here. Because I do want to outspeed. Like, as much as possible. And we're gonna just slowly whittle down that Burk Hill while we're at it. I hope this is gonna be enough. And watch this. So we got the Burkhell passive, which we're going to completely ignore. And also we got the Vanessa passive, which we're also going to ignore. This is just like best of both worlds, I'm telling you. Look at this. And bye-bye. How fucking good is this? This is stupid good. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to be experimenting a lot more with the Drakkar Lord. Drakkar? Currently, I've been first picking him, which obviously isn't going to be a thing I will be able to do for a long time. So I definitely have to also consider like what team comp I want to use him in. The issue is like he barely gets any setup because he gets rid of his own buffs. He gets rid of debuffs on your opponent. So pretty much the only thing you can do is just give him a tech bar. So maybe like a frigate team comp or something like that. Like imagine if I had like a dark ninja with that team like that's just freaking juicy right there anyways hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in the next video bye